everybody! Welcome to Ready Dearest! Martini, of course, regularly my flawed and tragic sag kick here at Midnight Mass, plays my mate. <laughs> <laughs> <My tiny! laughs> Hecklina today is Hectina, my daughter, my drag daughter. And then my very own mother, Mrs. Christ, flew in to San Francisco to be here for Tranny Dearest this weekend. The story is, of course, based on Mommy Dearest. Peaches Christ needs a gorgeous uh, sidekick drag daughter for, uh, to revive her flagging career. So she adopts uh, a drag daughter, Hectina, which is me. Things there. don't work yeah. out so well, really. <laughs> we don't get along that well. Well, as you said, I wanted a gorgeous daughter. And um, oh. right from the start, you know. So did she. <laughs> Look how that worked out. I'm calling because I want a daughter. Yes, that's why I'm calling. I want a daughter. <laughs> well, of course I'm aware I don't have a uterus of a hina. <laughs> or milkable breasts. What I'm talking about here is a drag daughter. I've heard people say, like, how can you, you know, laugh at child abuse? You know, how can you celebrate a movie? Well, it's like, you really then don't get the movie. Because it's so insane, it's so over the top. People love Mommy Dearest, and bringing it, you know, to uh, the stage with this added twist is just so much fun to do, and obviously the audience loved it. And they know all the lines, and it's a great audience participation show. No! One of the things that we were talking about this upstairs that makes it sort of special is that we, we tweak it. You know, we're not Joan Crawford and Christina up there. It is Peaches and Hectina and Martini. And things like that, I think, make it a little more, well, retarded, really. And that's what makes it Midnight Mass, I think. Did you clean the stage today? Yes, Tranny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tranny. What? <laughs> yes, Tranny dear. I'd rather be here with you tonight than anywhere else in all the world. You know, it's funny because this is a movie about abusive mothering, but I have to say, um, my mom, especially, my parents, both of them, um, they knew they had a little, you know, weirdo kid from, from early on. And, you know, she would sell tickets at the little haunted houses I'd put together, and my dad would take the chain off the chainsaw and rev it up and scare everybody. We loved every minute of it because it was different. We enjoyed his creativity. There were times we worried about certain aspects of it because well, there was he a was really consumed with Freddy Krueger for a long time. But <laughs> once we got past that... That's where we got the makeup style from. Joan Crawford is my favorite of all the sort of classic Hollywood divas. Why are you screaming? Because I'm damn mad! Faye, to this day, won't talk about the movie. Um, she won't acknowledge it. It's very similar to Elizabeth Berkley in Showgirls. I think um, the effect it had on them was, um, was so negative that they don't recover from it. And I do think that, I mean, you know, here's this woman. This is the last of, I think, um, a Hollywood group of actresses who were glamorous and beautiful and brilliant, you know, in the 70s, Chinatown. And, these great movies, and, and she uh, did Mommy Dearest, and I don't think she ever recovered. But it's an incredible performance, a tour de force performance. A bad actress could not have done what Faye Dunaway does in this movie. It would never have been as memorable. Only a brilliant actress could do what she did. And, and, and I think that the, it was too over the top for the, the mainstream. It was too, critics didn't get it. It was just, she went over the edge, but gay men got it, and they love it. And then, of course, 
like all things, you know, the gays kind of uh, put it up on a pedestal and then everyone else follows, you know, a few years later. And now Mommy Dearest is sort of, you know, on television and it's, you know, the DVD sells very well and, and all sorts of people come, but it was really drag queens and campy gays in New York and other places who started screening the movie after it bombed. Drag queens knew right away what Mommy Dearest was. And here we are all these years later and the audience is still eating it up.